In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a clean lower third inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we first just want to begin by creating some text. So we'll go ahead and select the type tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is T, but you can just press this T icon here and then click anywhere in your black video. Now we'll just go ahead and type out a name of your choice. So we'll just go for one name. Select all of that, then we'll go into the effect controls window on the left, go graphics, vector motion, text. And as you can see in here, we've got all of our options here. So we can begin by changing the font. So go ahead, change to a font of your choice. Then you can make this bold, hairline, light, regular, italic, it's completely up to you. And you can change the size of this. I'd recommend making this larger than you need to to begin with. So we'll make this full screen and then we'll scale this down later on. So we'll make this quite large text, something like this. And of course, then you can go ahead and change the fill color if you wanted to by selecting this box. I'm going to keep it as white though for now. And then once you're happy with the look of that, you can just close this down. We'll go back to our normal selection tool and we'll just move this in towards the middle somewhere. So somewhere around here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create another layer of text. So we'll go T, create another text here and we'll type out our subtitle. Then we'll select all of that to go back into our text and we'll change the size of this down like this. Then once you're happy with the look of that, you can just exit out of there, go back to our selection tool and just move this up below the first title. So you can see we've got our title and our subtitle. So the name and the label or the job description. Now from here, I'm just going to select both of those layers and I'll drag them both up onto video layer three and four. So one and two are now vacant. So from here, we need to go ahead and create a color mat. So we'll go into the project window. We'll go onto the new item button and select color mat. Or alternatively, you can just select anywhere in the project tab, right click, new item, color mat. Press OK on this and then we'll just go ahead and change the color to a color of your choice. So I'm going to select a nice blue. We'll press OK. Press OK and drag that onto video layer one. So as you can see at the moment, this is a full screen blue video. But if we go into the effect controls, go motion, we go scale. If we unlink uniform scale, so we'll deselect that. You can see we can actually change the scale height down on its own independent to the scale width, which is really awesome and really handy. So we're just going to first begin by framing up this box on the name. So we'll pull the scale height down to around here and then the scale width can come down as well. And then we'll use the position to move this into position. So somewhere around here, as you can see, it's a little bit too tall and a little bit too wide. So we'll pull the scale height down some more. So around there, then the scale width can come down a bit as well. So somewhere around there and then just move that up to fill the name. Now we'll do the same thing for the videographer layer. So we'll copy that color mat. So we'll go Command C, Command V, or alternatively, if you're on Mac, you can just hold Option and drag that up. Now we'll just go to that second color mat. We'll pull the position down. We'll decrease the scale width, decrease the scale height. So somewhere around there. Maybe go a bit higher, 11 maybe. We'll move this over. So now that we've created our two titles and our two boxes, we now just need to animate these on. So we'll start with the boxes and then we'll do the names afterwards. So I'm going to begin by just creating a mask around the first box. So we'll select that color mat. We'll go opacity and we'll use the free draw bezier. Now I'm just going to draw a larger box around that box. So like this, we'll go mask path, use this toggle animation button to create a new keyframe. Then we'll go maybe 12 frames to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm just using the right arrow on the keyboard. Of course, you can just drag this across if you want as well. Then we'll just create a brand new keyframe on that mask path. We'll go back to the beginning, select that mask, and we'll just drag this off screen to the left. And when we play this back, that animates on nice and quick. Of course, if you wanted to slow this down, then just increase the gap between those keyframes, like so. Or if you wanted to speed this up, then you just decrease the gap, and that will be really fast. But we want this to take its time, so we'll make this 
roughly one second. So somewhere around there. There you go. Now we need to do the same thing for the next box. So we'll go to the next box. We'll go free draw Bezier. We'll draw a larger box around this box. New keyframe. Then we'll go back to the beginning and drag this over to the left. We'll play this back. Now that looks great, but I want the second box to come on a bit later than the first box. So we'll just move these keyframes over to the right. We'll play this back. There you go. That looks great. Now in my example, you can see this isn't straight and therefore when the box animates on, this isn't straight as well. So if this is the case in your example, then just hover over the second keyframe and just straighten that out. Then go back to the first keyframe, hover over the exact area where the keyframe is, so here. And then again, just move that, straighten that up. And when you play this back, that should now be straight. So now that we've got these boxes animated, we now need to move on to the titles. And I'm just going to do that same type of animation. So I'm going to go onto that first color mat, that first box. We'll copy the opacity. Copying the opacity copies the mask. Then we'll go onto the name, go back to the beginning, and we'll paste that. So to copy, you go Control or Command C. And then to paste, you go Command or Control V. There you go. Now, of course, if you want to make any alterations, then you can just do so by going into those keyframes, moving them over like so. But once you're happy with that, we'll go onto the color mat on video layer two. We'll copy the opacity there, go to our videographer layer, paste that on. And there you go. Now, the title comes on a bit too soon, so we'll just budge those keyframes over. Play this back. That looks great. They're still a bit far, so we'll push that over to the right again. There you go. I'm going to slow this down though, so I'm just going to increase the gap between those keyframes. And when we play this back, that looks great. So there you go. We've created our lower third, but at the moment, it's just in the middle of our video. And if we had footage here, it would just be in the way. So in order to collapse this down into the corner, we're just going to highlight all four of those layers, right click, nest. We can rename this to lower third. That collapses everything down into one layer. And then we'll just go into motion and we'll pull the scale down, pull the position down to the bottom left. And then when we play this back, you can see our lower third is effectively now animating into the corner of the video. And the great news is if we double click this nested sequence, you can see all four of those original layers are there. And if we make any amendments, so let's say we want to change the color from blue to orange. And when we go back to our main sequence, you can see we've now got this really effective, but really simple to create a lower third inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.